Welcome to our summer series where Adobe gives you the latest tools and tips to help you keep your creativity flowing all year round. We're doing that by practicing createfulness. What is createfulness? Well, it's the practice of bringing in full awareness to your personal creative journey outside of work in order to refuel, create and go further with it. Over the rest of the summer, we'll be sharing how to approach your creativity with a fresh perspective how to practice new creative skills and how to turn these actions into better creative habits. So let's dive right in and get started. Today I'm joined by some incredibly talented designers from Vazava Studio. Please meet Bruno and Rita and in a second we'll also meet Alex. Um, before we start, can you give us a little bit of information about what is Vazava Studio? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, we're like a multidisciplinary studio. We do graphic design, uh, packaging, branding, a whole array of projects. Uh, and we have multiple creatives that mm -hmm. kind of complement each other, basically. And what specifically do you guys do? I am creative director and founder of the studio. Uh, and I'm an art director and graphic designer. Mm -hmm. All right, so basically we have some people with us who are going to show how they approach creativeness this summer. So our creatives at home would like to know, how do you keep up creative uh, lifestyle outside of work? How do you, how do you keep motivated? How, what do you do? Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I think it's more about breaking the habit and doing different things, uh, trying different creative disciplines, either ceramics or screen printing and just getting out of your comfort zone, basically. Mm -hmm. I think it's very important to experiment. How about you, Bruno? Yeah, actually, I think that the creative mind never, never takes a break. So even though if you are on holidays or vacations or things have to slow down, your mind keeps thinking things and you have to take advantage of this and, and, and do more projects and try to improve your skills and do your own uh, small projects and things to, yeah. to really evolve like mm -hmm. the creative. Yes. Passion projects are so important and um, uh, it's very important also to take the time to go out of your comfort zone and to, uh, yes, to participate in, in projects such as this one that, um, that we're going to be showing you. And um, uh, one last question before we, we get into the project. Uh, do you have like a creative mantra, a motto that you tell yourselves to keep going? Uh well, not, not a specific one daily, but uh, we came up with one for this specific project. That is uh, Play Hard, Dale Duro. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a mix between the English and the Spanish, which are the main languages at Vasava. And it kind of brings that idea up of uh, playing hard uh, and bringing your, your best self, your best creative to the table and pushing it really hard. All right, so this is what we want you to do as well. Play hard this summer. So how do we unleash your creativeness this summer? What we've done is we've worked together with Eric Speakerman, who's shared with us some elements from his private collection. All the illustrations you see are um, Eric's and also some typographic elements that come from Tipoteca uh, from northern Italy. So the mix of these two things, the illustrations and the typography, will be uh, some very good foundation for your creativity this summer. So of course, you two also got these uh, same elements that our users um, uh, will also get. And uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about what you found and how you discovered them and what you did with them? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we instantly became attracted to uh, before uh, typography. Uh, it's a, a work we admire from a long it's, time. Yeah, it's a classic from Cassandre, Cassandre. The, the, the French uh, designer and typographer. Yeah. Uh, so we kind of identified we want to work with this, no doubt, mm -hmm. and started selecting some other graphics, um, not to use them entirely as, well, as, as a whole piece, but taking like um, some textures or particular things, details we liked uh, to use them. And as we discover the work, we'll also see that uh, it's very important not to 
take these images literally all the time. You can take pieces of them, you can deconstruct them, you can reinterpret them. And this is really um, this, uh, the, one of the first rule of gratefulness is that we need to discover the things from the past and reinterpret them for a more modern design. And this is exactly what Vazava Studio have done. Yeah, and the, the interesting thing is that uh, all the elements are uh, super detailed, uh, but they have this quality of a vintage piece and the texture it, it uh, creates is super interesting. So we have isolated small parts of it and we have used it in a very organic way on, yeah. on our design. It's completely different from a digital asset and having that, that grainy uh, goodness, yeah. it kind of makes it different, bringing like the, because the whole is, school. Because this is something that was impossible in the past, right? Because these were fixed elements, right? That you could only move by hand and like yeah, put together. Yeah, in the past you were restricted by the physical shape of it. So the block has this size, so you have to use it at this size. But now with the tools we have, we can stretch it, we can distort it, we can combine it in different uh, parts. We can even isolate some parts of it. So it's super versatile, the, the, the kind of things we can do with that. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly the second rule of createfulness, is that now we have the tools that didn't exist in the past that let us be more creative, more createful. I just made up another word. <laughs> so yes, talk, a, talk to, uh, to us a little bit about how you approach the project, what, you know, what are the steps you took to, um, to get to your vision. Mm -hmm. So like I said, we started with the uh, before blocks. Um, these are the original ones that formed uh, the, the, type, the type. That's pure gold. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And we kind of took them apart um, and deconstructed them to form uh, a new approach. And here the main difference, like you were saying, uh, now we, we were able to change proportions, to stretch, to all of these different things. And that's what we did. We have now uh, different weights, um, different concentration of lines. Uh, which gives us different grays as well, different, um, different texture. And yeah, makes it a lot more playful and gives it a, a, a good rhythm, a good groove to the to the composition, I guess. Play hard, play that, hard. That was the, the your summer motto, right? <laughs> yeah, it's play and hard, dale duro. Dale duro. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them. So, um, of course, this is an illustrator. That's where you, um, you work with your vector graphics. Exactly. And then, so, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> we, we took it apart here, uh, got it together as a vector, and then went on to uh, Photoshop, where we got uh, the type together with the, the backgrounds. So now we played more with the illustrations. We also took them apart and put them in a, a library. These are all the different assets we selected. So these are vector elements inside of the, uh, the Creative Cloud yes, library. Exactly. Uh, we shared these elements between the team and each one of us worked mm -hmm. on different backgrounds. And it's these elements you can see here, actually. This is like a wheel from uh, a car. This is the sea of um, a landscape. And just this kind of looks like a brush, but it's not. It's like a small detail from another composition. And yeah, we made up different backgrounds with different colors. We wanted to make it uh, punchy and quite summery as well. And uh, yeah, we played uh, also with. Um, we play a lot with the colorways, trying to find something that is very summery and really. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, they're, they're, they're different between them, but you can see they're part of the same family because uh, they have the same kind of texture, the same feel. And uh, yeah, overall, I think they, they fit together, but they fit better together when you see them animated because... Yes, and Alex will be showing that uh, in just a second. But uh, just one quick question about uh, the teamwork. Uh, can you just explain a little bit how you organized the work and uh, how, how it all started? How did the idea spark? For these kind of projects that we have a lot of liberty and freedom to, to create, uh, we, we uh, explain the brief to the whole design team and everyone starts working in the ideas. At the beginning, we, we 
for example, we set up the rules like, okay, we are going to work with this food or we are going to work with this illustration. So everyone tries and try to make something that uh, proves his vision uh, about the, the project. And then we meet up, uh, we check the results of everyone and, 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 and we decide, okay, this is what is uh, the, the best uh, of it. So once we have done this, uh, everyone starts working on the same direction. So we distribute in different tasks. Uh, and, 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 and we use, for example, the library, the sharing tools uh, uh, we have, and, 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 and we work together trying to push the, the, the same piece of artwork. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. And because Vazava Studio never stops at, um, at just a static image, um, they also worked on in a little animation to show off that artwork. And we're going to be looking at, um, at this in just a second. And this is really the third rule of createfulness. And that's the rule of going further. And this is what we want you to do this summer as well. Well, here's Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi. Welcome, welcome to, uh, to this video. And uh, do you want to explain a little bit about you, what you do at yeah. Vasava? So I'm a art director, animator, and illustrator at Vasava. And yeah. Mm -hmm. And Alex is the third part of that creative trio that worked on this createfulness um, uh, project and uh, Alex took it a step further. Um, he, he went beyond what was asked for, and uh, this is, you know, one of the third rules of createfulness: is go further. And so, what inspired you to go further? So, with all the um, elements that we had created in Photoshop, I think I, well, I thought it would be amazing for us to be able to give it some life, give it some personality, and using After Effects, we were able to do that. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you want to show us a little yeah, bit how, how so you approach We have the animation here and whilst it looks very complicated with all these layers, we've just broken it down. Um, so if you look here, we can see that all the letters are animated as such. Um, it's all very simple rotation, playing with scale to build these letter forms. Like so. And we've also done the same with the each of the backgrounds. So as you can see in the composition, we have various transitions to show how they all interact. So basically you took the work from, from Rita, the, the static uh, Photoshop layers, yep. which you named, by the way, which is... Uh, very handy. Very <laughs> handy, uh, which probably made Alex's life much easier. Hell of a lot easier. Um, and, uh, and yes, and you took those elements and animated them in After Effects. I think that's really, really awesome. Do you want to show the, the final version of it? Yeah, like, of course. There's never a final version, but, you know. There's <laughs> always revision. Dale duro, play hard. And if there was music to that, what music would you imagine? No, something very summery, bit summary. reggaeton. <laughs> how, does, how, does, how does summery sound? I don't know, just <laughs> very positive, energetic, yes. Talking about the summer, uh, since, the, you know, since this is almost a personal project, this is not a, really an agency project, when it's summer, all you want to do is relax and, take, uh, and have a good time. How do you keep the creative juice flowing? I mean, you know, how do you keep inspired? How do you, how do you get the strength? Yeah, for me, I feel like living in Barcelona, there's just such a creative community and there's always stuff going on. So I think it's amazing to just soak all of that in and just meet all of these people and yeah, just inspire one another. So I think it's, it's a great way to work. Barcelona sure is a, a very inspiring city. So just to recap, uh, so what happened here is that uh, you guys uh, took these elements that Eric Speakerman provided and um, uh, used them first in an Illustrator artwork, uh, so using the vector data and putting them together to form the letter forms uh, to write Play Hard and Dale Duro. And then it took this whole project into Photoshop, still using Creative Cloud libraries and uh, pulling in all of the different elements. And one interesting thing that I want to uh, reiterate here is that you know, some of these illustrations that Eric Spiekerman provided, uh, which come from his private collection, um, uh, you don't necessarily need to use those as they are. You can, you can do like Vazava Studio and uh, deconstruct them, take pieces of them and get inspired by them. And then one step further um, uh, that Alex took, he actually animated the whole thing. Uh, so taking 
um, uh, Rita's Photoshop document and, um, and putting it together in After Effects and animating it. Okay, so that's the one step further. But in this project, of course, we're gonna be asking you to create a poster. And uh, well, that's great work. Uh, thank thanks you so to much. all three of you, to Bruno, Rita, and Alex from Basava Studio. And, um, and help creatives out there, you know, how, how to discover, how to, how to remain creative during the summer days. That's it from us here today. We'll be back very shortly with a new video tutorial featuring Victor and Julien from Acatre Studio, who will be creating a motion graphic. So make sure to join us then. And until then, it's your turn to put your skills into practice and check out how you can do that over here at adobe.com. And until next time, bye.